Right. Exactly. But it, hey, for us, it's cool. Because, you know, we have these big temperature disparities. We go from the 90s, then we cool down to mm -hmm. the 60s. So for us, when it gets down to the 60s, it is a little cooler <laughs> <laughs> for our liking, right? Everybody else is wearing their shorts uh, in other parts of the country. All right. So here in Southern California, we are rounding out the last day of the new of the year, uh, heading into the new year with temperatures a little bit cooler than what we've been dealing with the last few days. You know, we had those record temps. Uh, pretty much the last three days. We did see a record in Sandburg, which is all the way up the five freeway right before uh, LA County turns into um, the next county over. So we saw temperatures up there in the 70s. So that was the only city that broke records. Everywhere else here in the Southland, temperatures were still pretty mild and still slightly above average. 56 out the door near the coast, where we're looking at some low clouds and fog starting to move in. 65 for the valleys and 70s right now for the Inland Empire. We do have some high clouds rolling in, and that's because that's a good indicator that the high pressure system is weakening. So it's allowing some slightly cooler air to move in. So we have a little bit more of that sea breeze starting to pick up. No advisories, no warnings. It's been pretty quiet here, and that's the way we're going to stay as we head into the new year. So that shallow marine layer tonight, there is a possibility a dense fog advisory could be issued. So that's something we're going to continue to monitor, but just know that temperatures will be a little bit cooler, but still slightly above average as we head into the last day of 2017. Then once we head into the new year, we're looking at that high pressure system rebounding. So it will be a little bit warmer once again for the first couple of days of the new year. So there's that high pressure system, but take a look at what's behind it. We have this big low pressure system that could potentially bring us some rain as we head into the latter part of this upcoming week. So much cooler once we head into the middle part of the week. And then again, the possibility of some rain that could affect the burn areas of the Thomas fire. So that's something we will continue to watch. But take a look at our future cast. So with high pressure still sitting overhead as we head into the first couple days of 2018. And then once we head into the middle of the week, you can see more of that moisture really affecting Northern California, Central Coast. And then it could even go into Ventura County, really not affecting much of LA and Orange County. But then there is another system that could pack a little bit more of a punch, bringing us a little bit more of that moderate rainfall by the end of the week and into the early part of Saturday. So that's something, again, we will continue to watch. But for now, New Year's Eve, if you have plans, dress in layers because we're looking at temperatures into the 50s before midnight. And then once we head into the New Year afternoon, it's looking pretty mild with a high of 73 degrees. So tomorrow's high, 74 for Northridge, last day of 2017, 71 for Arcadia, 70 for Anaheim tomorrow, 75 for San Bernardino, 78 for Lake Elsinore. And then here's a look. We're looking at those 80s returning. Monday and Tuesday, especially for a lot of our inland valleys. And then the clouds really start to kick in as a series of those storm systems start to roll a little bit closer to us. So we're crossing our fingers that we at least get some rain, especially for the new year because it has been so dry. Back to you.